Hi, I'm Jim Steyer, the father of four kids and the founder of Common Sense Media. And I can assure you that the former job is a lot tougher than the latter. Now, one of the many things that we do here at Common Sense is to provide information to help parents navigate the crazy digital world that is so much a part of our kids' lives today. And one of the biggest issues out there right now is cyberbullying. My wife and I know very well that as parents, it can be really difficult to know what to do if you suspect that your own child is involved in some sort of cyberbullying. So here, straight from the mouths of some of our Common Sense Media parents, are our top five tips on how to deal with cyberbullying. As parents, we have to help our kids realize they can play a role in stopping cyber cruelty. Here are five tips to help you prevent, protect, and deal with cyberbullying. First, teach your kids empathy. Nothing drives home a point faster than walking a mile in someone else's shoes. If your kids truly understand what someone else is going through, they're less likely to bully others or stand by and watch as others get bullied. Second, help your kids understand the line between funny and cruel. Kids often don't think before they post, text, or email. What is intended as a joke could end up hurting someone else. If drama starts brewing, ask your kid to talk to their friend to clear it up. Third, make sure they talk to someone, even if it's not you. Of course we want our kids to talk to us first, but if that's not an option, encourage your kids to find a responsible adult they can confide in. That could be their school counselor, their music teacher, or even a friend's parent. Fourth, help your kid be an upstander, not a bystander. Kids are often hesitant to get involved, lest the bully turn their sights on them. But there are other ways your kids can help. They can reach out to the victim or get an adult involved. Finally, show your kid how to stop it. Tell them not to respond or retaliate to cyberbullying. Not feeding the bully can stop the cycle. And if anything does happen, it's always a good idea to save the evidence. There's no escaping the fact that like adults, kids are spending most of their waking hours online and on their phones. That's why it becomes even more important for us as parents to teach them how to responsibly and respectfully communicate using these tools. Following these simple steps will make a difference in your kids' lives and the lives of others. For more advice and tips, visit us at commonsense.org.